Blood counts play an important role in your child's care. Your child may have blood drawn one to two times a week, depending on treatment and their response. Always plan for a blood draw when you come to S20. So if your child has a Metaport, apply Emla Cream prior to your appointment. Red blood cells carry oxygen to all parts of the body providing energy. The number we look at in your counts is called hemoglobin. Signs of low hemoglobin are paleness, headache, dizziness, fatigue, irritability, and lack of concentration. If your child has a hemoglobin level of eight or less, they may need a transfusion of packed red blood cells. Blood transfusion is given over two to three hours using an IV pump. It comes in a bag and is red in color and looks just like blood that you would see if you were bleeding from a cut. We take vitals at the start, 15 minutes in, and at the end of the transfusion. The transfusion can be given on S20 if the appointment is early in the day. There are times when your child may be admitted for observation with discharge when the transfusion is done or come back the next day to be transfused. Platelets prevent bleeding and make blood clot when you have a cut. The number we look at in your counts is called platelet count. Petechiae, bruising, and bleeding are signs of a low platelet count. Petechiae are small, non-raised red dots on your skin. Bleeding can be from your gums, your nose, in emesis, urine, or stool. Here's the correct way to stop a nosebleed. You need to tilt your child's head forward at the neck and then apply pressure on the nose right when you first feel the cartilage give way to your resistance, like this. Apply the pressure for five minutes and check to see if the bleeding has stopped. Please call us to let us know that your child has had a nosebleed and obviously call us if you cannot stop the nose from bleeding. During treatment, do not give your child any ibuprofen-containing products, such as Motrin or Advil. They decrease platelet counts. If your child's platelet count is 20,000 or less, he or she may need a transfusion. A platelet transfusion is given over 20 to 30 minutes and drips in using gravity. Platelets come in a bag and are goldish yellow in color. We take vitals at the start, 15 minutes in, and at the end of the transfusion. The transfusion can be given on S20 even if an appointment is later in the afternoon. White blood cells fight infection in the body. There are different types of white blood cells. The specific type we need to be aware of are neutrophils. They fight bacterial infection. The number we look at in your counts is called absolute neutrophil count, or ANC. We are most concerned about a low ANC. An ANC of 1,000 or less means your child is neutropenic and at a greater risk of infection. An ANC of 500 or less means your child is severely neutropenic. The most important thing you need to remember is to call us to report any fever of 100.4 or higher, regardless of how your child looks, feels, or acts. Please call us with any other signs or symptoms of infection. Chills, rash, sore throat, diarrhea, persistent cough, any areas of redness, pain, or warmth. Remember, it is very important to notify us of any fevers or signs of infection because if your child is neutropenic, they do not have enough white blood cells to fight infection properly and it can be a life-threatening situation.